Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general tarot reading for all of my Aquariuses who are watching. This is in honor of the Aquarius full moon. It is a blue moon, I believe also a super moon. Um, so yeah, this will be for all of my Aquariuses or anyone who happens to be here. Feel free to take this energy as it resonates. I'll be um, just going over what's coming towards you or the energy that you've been dealing with. I might connect it to love, career, overall energy. And if one energy becomes more dominant than the other, I'll just go with that energy. But as always, feel free to feel free to take this energy how it resonates for you. Not everything will resonate for you, Aquarius, but let's just go ahead and get started first let's get into your tarot portion of the reading aquarius let's see what energy is relevant for my aquariuses please when it comes to their life energy in general we have love career relationships okay we do have a seven of cups here aquarius okay what's the seven of cups reflection energy in regards to please for Aquarius we have the seven of cups but then we have a ten of cups here all right what else do we need to know let's clarify further the seven of cups what energy do we have in between the seven and the ten of cups please for Aquarius all right, let's go ahead and take this card that came out singular, singularly. <laughs> Two of Pentacles, Aquarius. A uh, couple more cards came out, but we'll put those back. So we have the Two of Pentacles, but let's see what else is relevant here for my Aquariuses. We'll take the Nine of Swords in reverse here. We also have the Page of Cups, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and receive one more card for now, and that is the Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So Aquarius, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords in Reverse, Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So Aquarius, I do feel like there could have been a period of procrastination or maybe there... Besides procrastinating, there was a situation that allowed you to feel and you kind of just stayed in place. It's reminding me of the hangman in the tarot deck where you're just sitting with your thoughts, you're sit sitting with your feelings, you're not making any sudden movement. So there could have became or there could have came a time where you weren't sure what you wanted. So many options so many ideas came to mind here but i feel like the more you sat or the more the more you sat with all those different ideas or options or the more you were indecisive the more you became tired or bored of that energy here so i feel like you are taking a step forward in some area of your life because it's like i have the blueprint i have the imagination for something i need to just put it into action i need to do what works for me i need to do what is best for me perhaps a calling or just going towards where your heart takes you because the seven of cups it's like what are the possibilities what are what is out there the world is waiting for you but then at the same time you don't know what it all entails aquarius so and also just being indecisive, there's so many things on your mind, perhaps a lot of career paths that interest you, it could be the environment, it could be the type of love or potential love interest that intrigue you. So we have the Seven of Cups, and Seven of Cups can lead to procrastination, but it's like whatever makes me happy, whatever makes me 
feel joy, whatever makes me, or not joy, but whatever makes me feel joy, peace, emotional stability, Aquarius, that's the direction that I want to go towards. That's what I want to pursue. But it's also that energy of you never know until you try. So that's why I feel like you're really following your heart here. You're following your feelings, your emotions towards taking this, this new step towards something here, Aquarius. So let's just go ahead to the Nine of Swords here. I do feel like you're ready to get out there. You're ready to get some fresh air in a sense. And what I mean by that is you don't want to stay complacent. You don't want to feel stuck and you're never stuck. And that's why you've been reminded of all these options with that Seven of Cups energy. But I feel like for you, this could be coming out of like a period of hibernation, Aquarius. It's time to get up. It's time to get active. Maybe moving your body, maybe getting into a sport or something recreationally, Aquarius. Exercising like your mind in some way that could be physical activity. It could be journaling. It could be like grounding, spending like as soon as you wake up, you go outside, you take a walk, something like that, Aquarius. But I feel like those juices are flowing for you and you want to find what works for you. You want to step out of your comfort zone. I feel like they describe Aquarius as, as eccentric, and you are. You're eccentric, you're unique. There's so many wonderful qualities about you. So I feel like you're, the world is your oyster, and you're, you're really experiencing different things for yourself here, Aquarius. And in the Monology Oracle deck, there's a card that says, show the world the real you, and that is Aquarius energy, and I feel like that's what you're doing here. It's never too late to dream. It's never too late to plant a seed, to imagine, but just make sure that there is that, like, still be rational, be realistic about things, because I'm an Aquarius moon, and just from my experience being an Aquarius moon, I can have a lot of ideas and um, things that I want to pursue here, but then I get caught in the daydreaming, and then the foggy air energy, um, it could cloud things. So just make sure that, like, and that's why sometimes they encourage, like, goal setting. Just don't think about the bigger picture, what actions are needed to get to that bigger picture. So once again, forming that routine to a pinnacle spot, finding your own balance here, Aquarius. And also, I, I feel like you want to do what makes you feel comfortable. Perhaps you've been holding back or suppressing your feelings or your words to make other people happy or content. I feel like there's this energy of you being the main character, always Aquarius, but not being in the background, not like definitely coming into this Queen of Pentacles energy where you feel like you're at home, you feel safe and comfortable in the space and in the environment that you take up for yourself, Aquarius. Giving yourself everything you've always wanted and not letting anything or anyone deprive you. This could be like, say you're traveling or there's a new job opportunity, but you have to move out of the country or move like far away from your hometown, knowing that it'll make you happy, knowing that you'll, you'll find the balance, you'll make it work here. But you have to get up and go for it, Aquarius, because that procrastinating page of cups, it could really like, it's like when you hold out on something for so long, and then a month later, it's like, if I were to stick to that routine or stick to that goal, how would, it, how would my life have changed if I just stayed committed? So I feel like you don't want that fear of missing out, but... Following the Queen of Pentacles here, Aquarius, we have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups for Aquarius. Let's see what else. We have the Five of Cups. What does Aquarius need to take away from this energy, please? Five of Cups energy. All right, I'm going to put these back, Aquarius, but Queen of Wands. We also have the Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's a matter of how bad do you want whatever this is, even going towards your passions, 
perhaps staying or going out of your comfort zone here. But what else does Aquarius need to take from the Five of Cups here? Okay, we do have the Seven of Swords. We'll take that in reverse for now. What's the Seven of Swords about, please? Five of Cups, Seven of Swords. What truth is this for Aquarius? Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, as well as the Chariot, Cancer Energy with the Chariot. Okay, last but not least for my Aquarius is anything else that is relevant or, or important. We have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, last but not least, please. What else? Once again, Aquarius, I'm going to put these back because I do want a specific card, but we have the Strength, Ten of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So also an energy of releasing for this new chapter, this next chapter, because not everything can be brought with you, but we do have the Magician here. So let's get into what Aquarius will have some Oracle cards as well, but following the Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Seven of Swords in Reverse, Eight of Wands, the Chariot, Ace of Swords, and the Magician. So... All in all, Aquarius, this new life is going to require some sort of sacrifice or it's going to require releasing. It could be negative habits, your mindset, your perspective, staying boxed in. It could also just like, for example, say you talk yourself out of things. I, I feel like it's going to require that sacrifice even of do what you want do what fuels you and don't think about because you're different aquarius and different is beautiful but it's like don't matter about what everyone else wants you to do what do you want to do aquarius so i feel like you're going to have to release that 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 doesn't mean that it's an instant relief but you could feel like you're disappointing people you're letting people down but i feel like at this point you can't contain it anymore you know how you feel you're not being swindled. You're not um, letting just things happen to you over time and you being aware about it. It's, it's not going to work like that, Aquarius. I, I feel like you're definitely ready to do something different. And just it's like when you've had enough and you just need a break. You need to do something differently. Sometimes if you can relate, Aquarius, it's like when you've, you're so used to your comfort zone for so long and the thought of something or the thought of doing something different, it does make you anxious. But at the same time, it's like, let me just go for it because I'm so tired of feeling like this or being in the same situation. So I feel like you're going towards whatever this calling is of yours. And I hope you know what that is, Aquarius, your dreams, your passion, your passions, your goals. But it's like, you know that it'll be worth it. You know that you'll fall in love with it because it's your calling or it really resonates with you, but also believing in yourself. And it's like, once you get that exposure or you just do it, Aquarius, like, it's like when they say, once you do it the first time, it'll be easier the second time, the third time. Like, I feel like once you get out there, once you experience what this calling is of yours, that's when you feel more motivated. That's when things really come together that's when you're like I have to do it for myself I have to show up for myself let me make myself happy let me make myself proud here and this is like definitely a whole new transformation Aquarius I feel like you're following your truth ace of swords and you're not letting anyone get in the way of that I know what I want I I mentioned the energy of being indecisive I feel like it's crystal clear what you're wanting, what you're going towards, and how much you're going to make sure you achieve it for yourself because you're creating your your life, you're manifesting your life, abundance, um, motivation, but also just feeling confident within yourself. I'm doing what's right for me, so everything else is going to fall into place here, Aquarius. So I do hope that resonates. Let's go ahead and pull some situations oracle cards just in case they might resonate for Aquarius all right one more 
please, for my Aquariuses. All right, so Aquarius, we have Archangel Michael, protection, prevented from harm, divine intervention. I feel like you are protected in the different avenues or journeys or ways that you pursue for yourself, just feeling that confidence. But it's like when all these little things start working out, that's when you really feel like you're covered here. We do have love affair, dirty little secret down low. Take it how it resonates. It may or may not. But realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. So it's like that saying, there's no better time than the present. I feel like there's a realization that you've experienced for yourself and you don't want to stay complacent. You don't want to stay put. You're ready to do something different. One Moonology Oracle message, please, for my Aquariuses. We'll actually do two for Aquarius. What else? All right, Aquarius, so we have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. Don't worry about other people, Aquarius. You could, of course, be caring and loving, but just trusting that other, like, sometimes when you do have a big heart or you just care about people, it's like, I want them to be okay. I don't want them to feel a certain way for my own decisions, but it's like, if you're doing the thing that is best for you, they might not relate but they could try to understand Aquarius so it'll be okay don't worry about you Aquarius and don't let your past hold you, hold you back self note so yeah that comfortability I feel like it's led to boredom Aquarius and you're ready for something new last but not least as far as any signs that could be relevant we do have Leo so could be taking place right now we are in Leo season we have Pisces those dreams or daydreaming or thinking about the different possibilities, and we do have Libra. But Aquarius, that is all for your general reading. I do hope this brought clarity or help, but as always, Aquarius, I do appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.